Mars, the red planet, a world that's captivated human curiosity for centuries. Today, it's a dry, cold, and desolate place. Its dusty red surface is marked by ancient scars of what once was a far more dynamic planet. But what if we told you that Mars wasn't always the lifeless desert it is now? What if Mars had once looked very different, perhaps even much like Earth? The growing body of evidence suggests just that. Billions of years ago, Mars had vast rivers, lakes, and even oceans. It had an atmosphere thick enough to trap warmth, liquid water flowing freely across its surface, and possibly even conditions suitable for life. NASA's Perseverance rover has been exploring the Jezero Crater, an ancient lake bed, finding minerals that could have only formed in the presence of water. MSL Curiosity, another rover currently on Mars, has been doing the same in Gale Crater. These regions were once filled with water, and they might hold the key to the planet's mysterious past. But here's the question we're all left with. If Mars was once so warm and wet, where did all the water go? What catastrophic event or gradual process transformed a planet with flowing rivers into the arid, barren desert we see today? Scientists have been asking these questions for decades, and the answers are slowly but surely being pieced together. The most obvious place to look for Mars lost water is the planet's poles. Indeed, Mars has polar ice caps that contain a considerable amount of frozen water. But these icy deposits aren't nearly enough to account for all the water that once flowed across the planet's surface. So where else could it have gone? Scientists believe there are only two possibilities. It either seeped underground or it escaped into space. Recent discoveries have hinted that a portion of Mars water may still be trapped beneath its surface. In 2018, Scientists made a groundbreaking discovery. Using radar data from the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter, they found evidence of a large subglacial lake beneath Mars' southern polar ice cap. This lake, buried 1.5 kilometers beneath the surface, could be part of a larger network of subsurface water reservoirs. But as exciting as that discovery is, it's still not enough to account for the enormous amount of water Mars once had. So what about the other possibility? Could Mars have lost most of its water to space? To answer that, we need to understand the red planet's atmosphere. Today, Mars has a very thin atmosphere compared to Earth, and that's a big part of the reason why it's so cold and dry. But it wasn't always like this. Billions of years ago, Mars likely had a thicker atmosphere that helped maintain higher temperatures and allowed water to remain in liquid form. Over time, however, much of that atmosphere was stripped away, and with it, Mars's water. To understand how Mars's water escaped into space, we need to look at the key players involved, hydrogen and deuterium. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, and it's a crucial part of water, H2O. But not all hydrogen atoms are created equal. There's regular hydrogen, which consists of one proton and one electron, and then there's deuterium, a heavier isotope of hydrogen that also contains a neutron in its nucleus. Here's why this matters. When ultraviolet light from the sun hits Mars' atmosphere, it can break apart water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen atoms. These atoms are then free to escape into space. But there's a catch. Lighter hydrogen atoms escape much more easily than heavier deuterium atoms. Over time, as more and more hydrogen escapes, the ratio of hydrogen to deuterium in Mars' atmosphere changes. By measuring this ratio today, scientists can get a sense of how much water Mars has lost over the millennia. NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution MAVEN mission has been instrumental in helping us understand this process. Launched in 2013, MAVEN's primary goal is to study the Martian atmosphere and determine how it's been slowly leaking away into space. The spacecraft has been orbiting Mars since 2014, using its suite of instruments to measure the rate at which hydrogen and other gases are escaping from the planet's atmosphere. M-A-V-E-N has revealed that Mars is losing hydrogen at a much faster rate than scientists had previously thought. And this isn't just a slow, steady process. It's influenced by Mars's distance from the Sun. Mars has a highly elliptical orbit, which means that its distance from the Sun varies significantly throughout the Martian year. When Mars is closer to the Sun, more water vapor rises into the upper atmosphere, where it's broken apart by solar radiation. This seasonal variation means that the loss of hydrogen, and with it water, is much more dynamic than we once believed. 
But Maven isn't working alone in this investigation. Data from the Hubble Space Telescope has also played a critical role in understanding Mars's water loss. Using its powerful UV instruments, Hubble has been able to monitor the ratio of hydrogen to deuterium in Mars's atmosphere over several Martian years. By combining Hubble's observations with MAVEN's data, scientists have been able to get a much clearer picture of how water has been escaping from Mars, and the results are striking. When Mars is closest to the Sun, water molecules rise quickly to high altitudes, where they're broken apart by ultraviolet light. The hydrogen atoms that result from this process escape into space at a rapid rate. Deuterium, being heavier, is left behind. Over billions of years, this process has caused Mars' atmosphere to become enriched in deuterium, a clear sign that a massive amount of water has been lost. But there's more to the story. One of the key questions scientists are still trying to answer is, how do deuterium atoms escape from Mars' atmosphere? According to recent research, deuterium shouldn't be able to escape as easily as hydrogen. And yet, the data shows that deuterium is indeed escaping, though at a much slower rate. This suggests that there's some kind of energy boost happening, giving these heavier atoms the push they need to break free from Mars's gravity. Solar wind protons, which are charged particles streaming out from the sun, might be the culprit. These high energy protons can collide with Mars' atmospheric atoms, providing the necessary kick to help deuterium escape. Additionally, sunlight-driven chemical reactions in the upper atmosphere could be contributing to the process. But scientists are still piecing together the details and more research is needed to fully understand how these super thermal atoms are escaping Mars's gravity. What's clear, however, is that Mars has lost an enormous amount of water to space over the course of its history. And this loss isn't just a scientific curiosity, it holds clues to some of the biggest questions in planetary science. Why did Mars lose its water while Earth retained its oceans? Could Mars have supported life in its distant past? And what can this tell us about the fate of other rocky planets in our solar system and beyond? Understanding Mars' atmospheric loss also sheds light on the processes that shaped Earth's atmosphere. Our planet, too, has experienced changes over billions of years. But Earth's magnetic field and thicker atmosphere have helped protect it from the same fate as Mars. Venus, on the other hand, presents another stark contrast. Venus may have also had water in its past, but it suffered a runaway greenhouse effect turning it into the scorching, hellish planet it is today. As we continue to explore Mars, these comparisons deepen our understanding of how planets evolve. They remind us that the conditions that allow for life are delicate and not guaranteed, even in our own solar system. Mars serves as a powerful example of a planet that may have once been habitable, only to lose the very thing that makes life as we know it possible, liquid water. The story of Mars' lost water is still being written. Each new mission, whether it's NASA's Perseverance rover, the upcoming European ExoMars rover, or future human exploration, brings us one step closer to solving this cosmic mystery. And who knows? Perhaps one day, we'll discover that Mars's water didn't just disappear. It went underground, forming vast reservoirs that still exist today, waiting to be uncovered. For now, the Red Planet keeps its secrets, but scientists are getting closer every day. With each new discovery, we're not only learning more about Mars, but we're also gaining insights into the history of our own planet, the evolution of atmospheres, and the potential for life beyond Earth. One thing is certain, Mars may have lost its water, but it hasn't lost our fascination.